In this question, you are asked to describe fully the transformation from A to B. Fully means that there's more than one part to the description from A to B. We're starting with A and going to B. Now, it's clear to see that this is an enlargement because the shapes are not the same size. But usually, the shapes point in the same direction, but here, B is pointing in the other direction, so that indicates that this is an enlargement by a negative scale factor. The first thing we're going to do is find the centre of enlargement, but we, in, in doing that, we have to draw lines through the corresponding vertices. So it's a bit tricky here to identify the corresponding vertices, so I'm going to use a technique of first identifying the corresponding sides. So I can see that this is the shortest side on shape A, so the corresponding side on shape B is here because this is also the shortest side. With the other two, it's not clear to tell, so we'll have to measure them. I want to find the largest side, so that side is just under 8.5, and that side is over 9. So this is the longest side, so let me mark that with a highlighter. And now this side here is 4.2, this side here is 4.6, so that's the longest side, and the other side must be the one that's left over. So now that we've done that, we can now easily identify the corresponding vertices. This vertex between the orange and blue sides on here corresponds to the vertex between the orange and blue sides here. The vertex between the green and blue corresponds to the vertex between the green and blue on this shape. And take care when you're placing your ruler to make sure that it goes exactly through the vertices. Now it looks like the center of enlargement is 2, 3, but it's good practice to draw a line through all vertices to confirm that. And I can see that it is 2, 3, the centre of enlargement. So the next thing to do is find the scale factor of enlargement. Now we know it's going to be a negative scale factor, but I'm just going to find the size or magnitude of the scale factor by using this division. So we just divide the length of one of the sides on the new shape by one of the sides on the original shape. And the easiest one to use is this one because I can count the squares. This side here is eight squares long and this side here is four squares long and that gives me a magnitude of two. So scale factor equals negative two. So that means that the full description would be an enlargement by scale factor negative 2 from center 2, 3. And they are the three important parts of the description to describe fully.